Let's talk about lesson 5 and 7 tenths, subtracting fractions. All right, why are we subtracting fractions? Well, one reason is we're not always going to be adding and we need to understand how to do the opposite operation. So let's take a look at our first problem today and we're going to have a couple of word problems that we're going to look at. So I want you to go ahead and pause your video so you can read this to yourself. Okay, one way we can go about solving this problem is to actually use what's called a fraction number line. And we've got two fractions that we're going to look at, but our question is asking us how much farther from the pool does Kunwar live than Tyler? So we're actually going to start at three tenths and we're going to jump to the next one and the next one and the next one and the next one until we land on seven tenths. How many jumps did we make? The answer is four. So the answer to this question would be four tenths. So let's take a look at our next example. I'm going to have you pause the video so you can read that to yourself. So one way to go about solving this particular problem would be to draw a picture. And we have to think about what is the whole. The whole is going to be the whole book, right? So instead of four twelfths, a whole would be twelve twelfths. But we've read four twelfths. So what we're going to do is we're going to shade in one, two, three, four twelfths. And then we're trying to figure out how much does he still need to read to reach his goal. So if we count what is left, we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the answer to this question would be eight twelfths. Okay, so what you're going to need to do in class is first of all, read the questions very thoroughly. Make sure that you understand what it is asking. Now, am I going to use a fraction number line every time? No, I don't have to. Could I draw a picture every time? Yes, but you're going to find the strategy that works best for you and what helps you figure out the answer to the questions. So in class, we will solve fraction subtraction problems and number stories, just like the ones that we did, with partners to practice these skills. So thank you for watching, and I can't wait to see how well you work in class.